Today's story is about anger. The story will tell us why we become angry, where our anger takes us, and what do we need to do. Once upon a time, there was a woman. She used to get angry over every little thing. The whole family was troubled by this habit of her. Because of this, there used to be an atmosphere of quarrel in the family. One day a monk came to the door of the woman's house. The woman donated something to the monk and she told her problem to the monk. She said, "Sir, I get angry very quickly over everything. I can't control my anger even if I want to. Tell me some solution." The monk took out a medicine vial from his bag and gave it to her. and told that whenever she got angry put four drops of it on her tongue keep the medicine in the mouth for 10 minutes do not open the mouth for 10 minutes otherwise the medicine will not work the woman started using the medicine as prescribed by the monk within 7 days the anger of that woman began to subside A few days later when the monk came again to her door the woman fell at his feet she said your majesty the medicine you gave made my anger disappear now i do not get angry and there is an atmosphere of peace in my family the woman asked the monk what was the medicine in it then the monk smiled and told that it was not any medicine that vial was filled with ganga water anger can be treated only by remaining silent because a person in anger speaks directly due to which fights increase so the cure for anger is just silence my dear brothers and sisters this story teaches us that we need to control ourselves If we talk about anger then the biggest reason for our anger is to say abusive words or say the wrong thing at the wrong time if we remain silent at that time and do not say anything even if we want to then that anger does not come out and ends inside we maintain peace in the house or relationship and no one gets hurt because of our anger So always control yourself first. If needed, you can also take the help of someone. If you realize that you have a bad habit which is causing trouble to anyone, then it is very important for your life to eliminate it as soon as possible. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Shri Krishna tells Arjuna क्रोधाद भवति सम्मोह सम्मोहा स्मृति विभ्रम स्मृति भ्रंशा बुद्धिनाशो बुद्धिनाशा प्रनश्यति anger leads to clouding of judgment which results in bewilderment of memory when memory is bewildered the intellect gets destroyed and when the intellect is destroyed one is ruined anger impairs judgment just as the morning mist creates a hazy covering on the sunlight in anger people commit mistakes that they later regret because the intellect gets clouded by the haze of emotions people say he is 20 years elder to me why did i speak in this manner to him what happened to me what happened was that the faculty of judgment was affected by anger and hence the mistake of scolding an elder was made When the intellect is clouded it leads to bewilderment of memory the person then forgets what is right and what is wrong and flows along with the surge of emotions the downward descent continues from there and bewilderment of memory results in destruction of the intellect and since the intellect is the internal guide when it gets destroyed one is ruined In this manner the path of descent from divinity to impiety has been described beginning with contemplation on the sense objects to the destruction of the intellect I hope you learn from this
थैंक यू वेरी मच जय श्री राम जय श्री कृष्णा